Good day guys, I'm Mini War Painter. Finally, I can announce that this is the final video to this series of painting the models for the box game Nemesis. Yes! It's been an interesting experience as I've had the fun of playing with colour theory in order to come up with the best colour schemes to tie these models together. For those of you who have been following me in this series, I hope you've learnt something from my method of madness. And those of you new to the series, I implore you to go check out the other videos on my channel if only just to watch my thought process of colour theory. As I look forward guys, my next series of videos will be short and sweet tutorials on painting the finest details and decorations of the Exalted Sorcerers of the Thousand Suns. But now, let's move on to what this video is all about. I'll catch you after the intro. Okay guys, here he is, the last character to paint from this box set. I asked the client what colours he would like to see on his team leader. He requested khaki green and charcoal. With this in mind, I was happy that this choice of colours would work together with the other models. The only drama being is that both these colours are quite desaturated in the nature of their properties. What I mean by this is that charcoal is basically dark grey. And khaki green is a rather dull green, making it ideal for camouflage, but to help provide the eyes some form of excitement, not so good. But this was fine, because like most of the other models, he's wearing a metal harness over his shoulders. Now, as khaki green is quite a cold colour, the best thing to do for this was paint it a warm red. For those of you unfamiliar to the colour wheel, red is opposite to green, therefore making it an ideal complementary colour. That being said, I still decided to paint this red desaturated because as it frames the head, I didn't want the red to overpower the face, which is where the main focal point should be. After this, all that was left to think about was his sexy slick hairstyle and any leather straps. Oh, he's gorgeous! So for these, I painted them brown, using the same brown I've used on the previous models to help tie him in with the rest of the models. Now let's get on with some painting. My life be like... For all of you who couldn't see that, because I couldn't, that was Castellan Green. I used this to base the model first, as his green overalls dominate the majority of the model. Doing more brown to base his shoulder harness, I felt if a desaturated red is what I'm after, then this brown is the place to start. You'll notice that any accessories I paint eshing grey are no higher than his waistline. This helps to avoid too much attention being drawn to his feet, as opposed to his face. For those of you who've yet to master the art of citadel wash recognition, that's not an oil. Here I'm going back over the model with Castellan Green to bring back to life the flat areas of his clothing. I then mix some Death Guard Green into Castellan Green to help me gradually develop the smooth highlights the painting clothes deserve. Adding more and more amounts of Death Guard into the mix as I go along aiming to paint the lighter areas where I feel natural light will hit the model. Ooh, 
dumb, dumb, did me. Here come that boy from the capital city. Last up on the Grits New Diddy. But eight bars of the truth will do. I believe there's a bride that's stunning. And I believe in the kingdom coming. I believe if you seek the truth, you don't need to look far. Cause it's gonna find you. So why, oh, why do I trip and stumble? And new eyes, commitment crumbles. I can't believe that I'm here again. Again, again. My life be like times like these that make me say. Skill, 80% beer, be 100% clear, cause Ryu was ill. Who would have thought he'd be the one that set the West in flames? Then I heard him wreck it with the crystal meth, the name of the game. Came back, dropped mega death, took him to church. I like bleach, man. Why you had the stupidest verse? This dude is the truth. Now everybody giving them guest spots. The stocks through the roof. I heard he fucking with death. They call him Ryu, he's sick, and he's spitting fire and mic. Got him out the dryer, he's hot. Found him in Fort Minor with talk. But a fucking Nile is porcupine. He's a prick, he's a cock. The tight women wanna be with them rappers. Hope we get shot. Eight years in the making, patiently waiting to blow. Now the record we should notice taking over the globe. He's got a partner in crime. His shit is equally dope. You won't believe the kind of shit that comes out of this kid's throat. This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated Traded power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. wasn't happy with the weak contrast that Wyclan Flesh Shade left me with the details on his face, so I mixed a little Doomball Brown into my Kistler Flesh and took matters into my own hands. Styles of Beyond, Ryu, Tuck Beer, Machine Shop.
I then mixed a little use antibone into my kid's left flesh to highlight where I felt natural light may diffuse across his face. With the model done, I painted his base the same way I painted the rest of the characters from the series. All that was left to do was paint the rim of his base black. Done. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe. Like I promised, next series of videos will be on the Exalted Sorcerers of the Thousand Sons. If you're on Instagram, you can search for me at miniwar underscore painter. Here you can keep yourself up to date on any current projects I'm working on as I like to post regularly in my stories. I'll leave you now with some finished thoughts of the model. Ta-ra!